<laughs> Bodie, my traps look tiny. My head looks gigantic right now. It's fake. <laughs> fucking stupid. I hope so. <laughs> Some all right, hurt. shut up so I can do it. All, right, all right, sorry, go ahead. Welcome, everybody, to Juice Pro Wrestling, episode 77, Truly Abigail! Yeah! In the studio, live in the flesh, literally, is Threaten the Savage. What's going on, man? Uh, My shirt exploded from my muscles, so (laughs) if you're lucky enough to be watching on YouTube, my bad. He's naked and fearless, and his fear is naked! In live, all the way up from the state of Cheddar, is... Bruiser Bodie, what's up, brother? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, open. <laughs> All right. Keeping it real. <laughs> um, Keeping it real. I just want to I just want to see Sweat and Sniff. <laughs> Everybody wants if to If I see do this kids. right, you will not. <laughs> just Wallace. That's why he's gonna be he's gonna be like slightly sad this whole episode because he's looking at my teeth. <laughs> yeah. Slightly threatened. I'm just gonna hey. I'm going to look, make the face right now for all you out there watching that his nips are making. <laughs> <laughs> there, there it goes. They're, tr- they're trying. It was know, like they're, that they're, they're going sad through a emoji. Rough patch. They're, they're going through a rough patch right now. Uh, they just need yeah. some time to perk up. And I went through uh, a rough patch <laughs> once or twice, and I had to go to the doctor afterwards. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm out of here. I'm hey, I'd like to thank everybody out there currently listening on every podcast platform such as spotify itunes stitcher etc 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 and also uh in syndication via jason modcast and thank you guys you guys are the best i fucking love you thank you guys out there for supporting everybody that tunes in every week we love you you can find us everywhere instagram facebook twitter all that shit we'll get more on that on the end but uh, Got to give you guys the love because without you, this shit ain't possible. And we'd like it to be possible so you can laugh out your asshole and we can have a good time and all that good shit. But anyways, rocking in the episode 77, Truly Armageddon. It's time for the motherfucking news. The news. <laughs> yeah. Can we Lewis on the news? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I always think of Patrick Bateman whenever I hear fucking Huey Lewis in the news. I, um, I, I do too. Dude. It's the best. Gonna go back into. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, I wanna do drugs every second, every day. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna do drugs. That is correct. Uh, sad <laughs> note in the news this week, man. Uh, Yes. R.I.P. the Sid Haig, man. Actor, he was he was known most notably known in the horror genre for uh currently, which may be his last film, uh Rob Zombies Three from Hell. But besides that, you had Devil's Rejects, you had uh House of a Thousand Corpses. Um he also did a lot of shitty horror movies too. I think I got one of them was Night of the Living Dead 3D. Man, that was a pile of hot shit. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I like Sid. He he was a uh, shout out to Butchman Lee a couple a few years back. Uh, me and Brad's old band Moisten Disciples put out our finally put out our album and uh, re- did a very limited CD release with that thing. And he met Sid at uh, one of the horror cons. And if you guys go and check out uh, the Juicefuge YouTube channel, you can see that video where Sid is reluctantly <laughs> endorsing the Moisten Disciples brand. And the video is entitled, What the Fuck is Moisten Disciples? Because that's exactly what he said. Uh, man, I, I had heard he had fell like last week or something like that. And he was 80 years old. Was he 80? He was 80, man. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he was 80. He was looking pretty rough, man, in the pictures I've seen lately. I mean, he's 80. He's really thin. Uh, Did he ever look good? I mean, I'm sure in 1920. Uh I'm not knocking the man. No, I'm not. I'm not knocking him. I love him, you know. Yeah. But I gotta make jokes because it's a it's a shitty situation. 
that. Yeah. You got to celebrate life. Not entertain enjoy a lot of death. people. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. But for all you horror fiends out there, uh, RIP to Sid Haig. That's right. Salutations and blessings to uh, friends and family. Shit sucks. Um, but yeah, other than that, a lot of news. And Bodie, I'm going to let you take it on this one, except I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, I'm going to field off the first one because Kylie Ray sure. is back. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's back and making it wetter. That's actually why I didn't wear a shirt because I thought any way we could get her in here, and I think after she sees the G O O D S, then she'll have no choice but to come in and hang out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah I would. Kylie, the door's always open. Always. Yep. So Kylie Ray returned <laughs> at uh, Freelance Underground. That was Freelance Underground, right? Or was it Freelance? Yes, wrestling? it was. Um, the Game of Genders I event. It was and uh, she went against her, uh, her uh, I don't know if I should bust out a kayfabe for this, but whatever the fuck I'm going to do it. Her lover boy, uh, Isaiah Velasquez. She's not single? No. God damn it! <laughs> throwing <laughs> shit right now. He just threw some shit somewhere into the abyss. Um, yeah, man, that, I was, uh, I forget who I was talking to. I Was I talking to, was it you, Bodie? I yeah. think so. Yeah, I was talking to you on the phone, and uh, I got tagged by Freelance, and I was like, holy shit, yeah. you know? Yeah, you were. They had to re- replace uh, Shotzi Blackheart, and as the tweet goes, you know, they knew they needed to get somebody that was going to fucking be a killer replacement and none better than the lady who's been in question for the last couple of months now. Yeah. Um, Kylie Ray, you know, the Chicago, Illinois native, uh, homegrown Ooh. talent. Uh, everybody pops for smiley Kylie. She was a part of AEW. Yep. And as we all found out last month, uh, <laughs> via a backstage interview with Tony Khan, she had been released from her contract. Nobody knew what was up, but we still don't know. No one knows the story, you know, right. only Kylie knows. Um, so, Kylie, if you want to come on the podcast and talk about her, or if you don't want to come on the podcast, well, if you, gotta, if you want to come on the podcast and not talk about that, feel go. free to do yeah. it. <laughs> you know, because yeah. we don't have to talk about that shit. I think it would be awesome on the podcast. Yeah. I think come and give your it. thoughts on stuff. And if you want to give yeah. your thoughts on those stuff, you can. Just ask Pat Monix. He had a great time. He's he your did. boy. But, uh, yeah, the door's always open. Come yeah. on in. It's a long story when I'm not barfing into the mic. Yeah. And when he's got a shirt on. (laughs) And when I have a shirt on. Nah, it's not so bad with my shirt off. It's not so bad. It's not so good. It's not so bad. Um, So, Kylie, it was great to see her back. Uh, That was, for me, that was uh, some of the biggest news coming out of wrestling for the week for me. Yeah. So, Bodie, as they like to say in the biz, take it away! Oh, man. Yeah, Kylie Ray was probably on the top of the list of returning because I'm a huge mark for Kylie Ray. Love Kylie Ray. So good to see her back. Um, another return that we saw, uh, I know most people saw it, was Kishin Liger, the demonic form of Jushin Thunder Liger. That was insane. Yeah, yeah. And it looked even was better really without his without his hair. I know. Yeah. <laughs> right? I was so like, he looks so bald. sick without his hair. He does. He looks good. <laughs> he's still in great shape. Yeah. I mean, he always looks thick in that oh, suit, yeah. but you could tell he's actually got like some really good definition, muscle definition, and shit. Like, and Liger yeah. is old as dirt, man. As far oh, as he how is, old he man. he's been is? around. How old is hold he? Hold on, hold on. I Check this out. He's in his, like, this is gonna up? be a first. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Yes, sir. Hey Siri, yes, sir. how old is Jushin oh. Thunder Liger? Okay, I found this on the web for how old is Jushin Thunder Liger. Fuck Check you. It out. Siri, you didn't give me an answer. That's why we don't rely on technology. <laughs> well, she here. said douchey. No. no, she didn't say douchey. Yeah, she, she said, said juicy. Douchey. Douchey. Juicy. She said juicy, Thunder Liger. <laughs> That's right. Uh, hey, ju- <laughs> dude, he's got to be getting juice. close to 50 if he's not in his 50s. He's already. got better tits than me. 50? I yeah. thought he was in his 50s. That's what I was thinking. Mm. I don't know about this. Well, this supposedly is his last year wrestling. So That's what I've heard. Um, I'm glad he. He busted out that uh, that gimmick, man. His alter ego, the fucking evil. Oh my god, yeah. Evil version. So good. It was great, man. So good. Who yeah. was that? And then when he uh, got Suzuki? the uh... 
Yeah, and then he got the knife and he went after him, and when it went through the table, the knife went through the table. Yeah, dude, that that's like, fucking Jesus. Killer. Yeah, that's why you got guys yeah. on Twitter like shout out to Dan House and he's like book this match before he's done, you know, like. Yeah, no wow, shit, dude. I I I really yeah. like that. I, I'm pumped to see where that goes. Shout out to I New am Japan. Too. I popped for that. We haven't really been uh, talking, discussing New Japan much. No. I think we should in about 20 minutes. Hey, yeah, yeah. We probably. Oh, yeah. Wink, wink, wink. wink. Yeah, hint, hint. Wink, wink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, what else, That's baby? a little bit of foreshadowing. Yeah, yeah. So what else what we got else? going We on? got uh, Bandito wins Bola, the Battle of Los Angeles, man. There was a lot of killer talent in that tournament, too. Bandito? Oh, yeah. He's the second. Uh, um, is this the second year in a row an ROH guy won that? Yeah, um, yeah, he's a two-time winner, I think. Um, cause uh, Cobb Cobb won it like two times, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Jeff Cobb. Yep. Corner. Yeah, yeah, he won it. Jeff Corner. Yep. Cobb. Yeah, he won it. <laughs> yeah, he won it. <laughs> Sam um, is an action. That cat cat. That's pretty much that's uh, that's Wisconsin talk. If you go up north, hey, who won that bowl? I don't know. Up, up north here, the bowl. I went to Jeff Cobb Dairy. <laughs> what do they got? Oh, at the... Bandito, Bandito went over over there in the bowl a tournament there. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> you got a lot of talent hey. over there. Yeah, got uh, got what you got there, kid? The monster so, Matanza yeah, Cobb. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the monster oh, Matanza Cobb. All right. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Pantito went over. Uh, I, who did he beat in the finals? It was uh, David Starr, and um, it was oh. a triple threat match. And I, nice. Yeah, I don't know the logistics yeah, of that. I don't remember. I didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah, it was a triple threat. He, uh, I know David Starr was involved in the match. Who is an amazing talent on his own. Um, so he won uh, Battle of Los Angeles, and then. Uh, Another tournament that was going on was Turbo Grab 16, and spoiler alert, Warhorse won that. Which yes, he did. That's awesome because Warhorse is in the, is also amazing. I like him. He's all about putting metal in people's asses and shit. And like, I like it on his <laughs> yeah. Twitter, on his Twitter, dude. He's always like, "You're up too late. It's time to go to bed." <laughs> like he's all like, hey, Warhorse. Twitter's funny. Yeah, he, he's the shit. He's gonna be coming on the show here soon, so you guys can expect that Good. interview. I appreciate his red speedo confidence. Yeah. You know, sometimes people want to wear like silly hats, like some kind of cool hats. Like, yeah, and you got to have that hat confidence to pull it off. Mm-hmm. It, uh, you got to have. He's always about red... riding asses. He always talks about like I'm gonna ride these asses. <laughs> he's, but he's, I appreciate him. He's got that red speedo confidence. You can't yeah. pull off a red speedo. Yeah, but Warhorse oh, yeah. can. Yeah, and that was he's a surprise, right, for him to win that whole tournament. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that was... it was kind of like an underdog. Yeah, yeah, and you guys can go back and watch that uh, via independent wrestling. Dot TV, yep. IWTV. There's an app for that. Believe it. There's an app for that. There is. I think Freelance is going to be on there soon. The uh, Battle of Genders. Yeah, yeah. This should be on there. Game I of have... Genders. Yeah, not the, Battle of they... Genders. Game of Genders. <laughs> Battle of Genders. <laughs> Battle of Battle. Just gonna uh, leave that games one of Los Angeles. Battles of Genders. <laughs> the games of Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> we are the games of Los Angeles. <laughs> we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do Oh it. man. Uh you had to, yes. That so, was good. Anything yeah, else? And, uh, yeah, one more thing uh, I just want to throw out there too that big news was uh RSP Ricky Shane Page. Yeah. Uh coming in uh, GCW taking down Nick Gage, stealing the title and calling out Gage. And then subsequently Killer Cross just laid out a thick promo today yeah. calling out Ricky Shane Page. So wow. those, I'll go to Twitter. Check yeah. out Cross's promo. Check out Ricky Shane Page's promo. Check out Gage's promo. It's it's gonna be awesome. Oh, it's gonna be the shit. And Cross did it whilst yeah. wearing a Danzig t-shirt. Yes, gotta love it. Sporting a Danzig. That's right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. He cu- <laughs> he cuts. Mother, tell your <laughs> tell your title not to walk my way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll show you how the but juice yeah, uh, I hope so. Uh-huh. Yeah, me like your juice. Yeah, the Ricky Shane Page was cool, and then uh, one more thing I just want to throw out there for news was uh, the Fiend Bray Wyatt last week on Raw. If you haven't seen it, 
last week's Raw with the Fiend was insane, and the ending was just trippy as hell. That oh was, yeah, where he took Kane yeah, out, dude. Yeah, he took Kane out, and just the the stills of him, like just those still pictures of him behind Kane, and then him up yeah. in Seth Rollins' grill, and then uh, the Firefly Funhouse thing at the end was just fucking freaky, man. It was yeah. trippy as hell. I it was cool. Like, really well done. I do not like how WWE uh, was a shop WWE or whatever. <laughs> They're merchandising yeah. the mask now. I mean, I guess I get ah, it. Don't do that. It makes sense. I do but too, yeah. but don't do that. They he, fucking. I, yeah, he, he's a money maker. Yeah, but... and that's got to be the one yeah. and only. You can't. It's not fucking Rey Mysterio, you know. I mean, I guess right. that will still sell, but like, obviously, the business side of that is Rey Mysterio is going to sell a shit ton of masks. Like Bray Wyatt, it's kind of a niche thing because he probably does freak out a bunch of motherfuckers, you know, like little kids. And I shit. hope so. Yeah, keep them nightmare. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep that, yeah. like, much like The Undertaker was when we were kids. Like, there were people exactly. legit, you'd see them in the audience. Go back and watch those old tapes that were fucking sweating. You know, like, he was scary until, yeah. until he He's a big dead ginger. And then cross their arms and put his genitals on their face. And you're like, he's a creep. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I'd have to say that, too. on the shit already. <laughs> yeah, he's... he's the- I'm glad that they have uh, that Bray Wyatt's got like pretty much full control over that character. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff, man. So I do, I yeah, I do is. enjoy it. It's it's gonna be weird to see where it goes though because you know, we we know what happened yeah. the first time around. Yeah, yeah. So expectations are tempered because of uh, all that, and with him and coming up in Hell in a Cell, is he gonna win the title? I don't know. I don't know if he should win the title yet, or I don't know. I, I don't know how that would work. That's just my I personal think it opinion. Be a, is, there's got to be a story about a, why he wants the title, in my opinion. You know, like yeah, it's because his character is a character that doesn't need it. It's no, like like Jake the all. Snake. Did, did he? People are pissed they never won a, a, a title in WWE, but did he really ever he need never one? Needed one? No, his no. title was fucking his gimmick and the snake and all yeah. that. Like that was he yeah, would have. I'll put it to you guys out there listening right now. Jake the Snake would have made the same fucking money with or without a, a fucking title. Now, you know, Grant out there, yep. before you fucking all chastise me and say, well, you make more money with the belt. No well, shit, I'm that's not what I'm saying. Belt. What I'm saying is it, would've, it wouldn't have really been a big difference had he been champion, no, had he not. No. Because he was, he he's the guy that we're still talking about to this day, you know? Oh, yeah. And maybe this Bray, the Fiend character, maybe it has that. I do like where they're going right now. I'm not going to jump the gun and say that because, you know, I don't think he's going to win. And I honestly think they're going to treat it right. I think this is going to be a storyline that they're going to do. Well, here's well. the thing, though. Is he just wrestling as the Fiend now? He, so yeah. He's not... yeah, he he's two different people. He's playing two different people. So he's playing Bray Wyatt, who right. is, he does the firefight front house. He's the, you know, like the happy go lucky. Like, oh, I'm sorry. He's the split personality. So he's, I like it because it's so, still somewhat r- retaining that continuity from uh, the Matt Hardy shit that he did. Yep. Remember, Matt Hardy took him and put him in the, the lake of reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> or as I like to call it. Wonderful. The, yeah. The lake of incantation. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't like incantation. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Hashtag juice. You're not the only one. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag yeah, Bodie, no neither one of our bands will be booked now for opening shows. This yep. guy's fucking her yep, Sorry. <laughs> hashtag deal with it. <laughs> Haters. <laughs> yeah. Haters. Haters. Eat my shit. Hashtag everything dies. <laughs> yeah, the Fiend character is money, man. Bray Wyatt is money. Um, if he wins the title, they better do something off of that. I'd like you to know, see. There's got to be something. You know what would be cool? Like, Man, if they did, like, some weird mayhem shit with it, like, so he wins the belt, but then, like, he just, it's, like, it's all shiny and it's nice and it's polished, but that's not what the Fiend wants, so he buries it. It's always, like, the mayhem shit, you know, where it's, like, it's got to have, like, that dead stink to it or something, so he's burying the belt in the ground, so it's getting that earthy smell, and then he's okay with it, and, like, you see the belt, but it's still, it's got, like, earthy shit or whatever all over it. It would just add more to the creepiness of that character, and Bray, if by some chance you hear that shit, <laughs> you're welcome. Mm-hmm. Also, the door's always open. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. So JP Dove exactly. Studio, door's always open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's what I have for news, man. Um, all that. Nice. And so was, was there good, anything? It was a good uh, week in wrestling. Um, I did watch uh, Impact on Friday. I, you know, what? I did not get to see Impact. Yeah, yeah, you were at your son's football game. I think we talked Friday too, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was a great episode, man. Um, I think it was the last one in Mexico. Uh, it was LAX's send off match uh, yeah. against um, Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Fucking killer match, oh, dude. Yeah. I, I, swear, I know, and you're a fan of guys not kicking out of finishers and shit. Man, they put they laid like so many big. I don't even know if they're like you want to call them finishers, but some of them they were like finishers and just these super high impact soup signature moves that were done to Santana to like end it to secure the win for Willie Mac. That it was like it was a great send off because here's the thing: going and doing what's right in a booking sense. These guys are leaving; they're going to AEW. Everybody knows that you do the right thing by the business and by the boys and by the company that made you. And you go out on your back. I mean, that's that's just yeah. the way the business is Tradition. established. Yeah. Um, and they did that. But they did it in such a way to where it didn't feel cheap. I mean, because they had a killer match. LAX went really fucking hard in the paint like they always do. And uh, the finish, man, it just it blew my mind. Because you, like, sitting there watching that, like, like Santana got fucked fucking molested with brutality and that's why they were able to get the three dude <laughs> oh you can't use the word molested brutality <laughs> you can't <laughs> I, I thought he was gonna chance what kind of shit is that <laughs> it's Shao Kahn can't game, use but... that word <laughs> Bru- brutality <laughs> what word I wanna be molested molestality <laughs> little uh, Alice Cooper there for you somewhat <laughs> nah, nice. yeah, Mol- that, that was good <laughs> Molested <laughs> Molested disciples <laughs> Oh I like that I like yeah, that see, 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 Oh see. man <laughs> Sorry I'm going to have to laugh about that For like 10 more minutes <laughs> it's, really good. it's really good I want to uh, talk about I want to talk about a movie I watched Last week in yeah. the last 5 days Ooh, Called yeah. Peanut Butter Falcon. Did you watch it? Was Mick Foley in that? Mick Foley what? was in it. Jake the Snake was in what? it. What? Uh, I knew Mick Foley was in what? it. At least the two of them were in it. They did cameos at the end of the movie. The last they're in the and last. This is in theaters, minutes. right? It is in theaters right now. It's hard to find. It's a, it's a really really small movie, mm-hmm. but it is a feel oh. good. It's like so. Top- it's called Peanut Butter Fucking, right? Yes. Peanut butter fucking. Yeah. It's in select theaters. <laughs> peanut butter butt fucking. If you don't want to watch it in the theaters, Google peanut butter fucking. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> peanut butter falcon. So it's with uh, what's his face. <laughs> now you got my brain mush. Clay face. No. Uh, Jack face. No. Pie uh, face. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, that guy who gets angry. No. Oh. It stars Shia LaBeouf and this and this other kid uh, who's a star of the movie who has Down syndrome and he Ooh, wants that's... to be uh, a wrestler. That's all he wants in life. Oh, is that what it's about? And his, and his gimmick is yeah. his name is Peanut Butter Falcon. Bodie, you, you say yeah like motherfucker, like you knew that. But it's about these two dudes who randomly meet each other and develop this friendship, and they take like they take uh, I don't know. It's not the Mississippi, but it's one of those bodies of water delta? that goes down to Florida. Mississippi Delta, learn about the blues and mud waters. Yep. No week can go by without us doing this boy. Let voting. me tell you about hard times. <laughs> Wait, I did that last week. You did it last there week, you know. but you could do it every <laughs> week, baby. Baby, let me tell you something. <laughs> you come into this territory in the JPW, you fuck with threatening the savage, you fuck with the juice, you fuck with Bruce Bodie. None, baby. None are more brutal than these boys. Let me tell you, let I'm this voice tell you. I'm the son, son of, a of a plumber. Son of a plumber. And there ain't none any dumber. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he, he wants to sing us to the bone, and then he kick him in the butt. <laughs> and nobody, nobody likes getting kicked in the butt, and nobody gets tired of wait us it. saying baby, baby. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't Tell, know what I'm hey, saying. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me, sir. Hey, why, hey. Oh. Why, why'd you do it? Yeah. Come on, Shred. Why'd you do it? <laughs> oh, my God. Why'd you do it? Andre is in the house. Oh, what no. up, Andre? Oh. Everybody knows why Shred did it. 
I don't think they do know, Andre, so why don't you fill us in? Yeah, Man, I don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about Stratton or anyone else. Well, I don't give a shit why he did it either. <laughs> oh, that's fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah. Peanut Butter Falcon, I watched it too up in heaven with D Mountain and Tupac. Really? Yeah, we what watched that Tupac bullshit. Oh. Of it? Ah, he's a pretty good guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was an actor, too. You know, we are talking about, uh, what was it? What was the movie he was in, Bodie? I keep wanting Ooh. to say Dead Poets Andre. Society, but it wasn't. Nah, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac Shaker. He was Tupac in, uh, Shaker? He was in a few movies, wasn't he? He was above, above the rim. Uh, was he's above always, the rim is the one I'm really always in heaven. That one he, with Janet Jackson, though. He brag about the Janet Jackson. Oh, and, that was uh, Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice. I always want to say Dead yeah. Poets Society. That was Robin Williams. <laughs> hey, what's Robin, <laughs> Robin Williams, Williams up, yeah. like up there, Andre? We don't hang out. Yeah. We are in different social circles. Oh, okay. Nah, yeah, you know oh, what? Okay. I'm funnier than him, and he don't like it. Yeah, I can see I got to go. Uh, <laughs> all right, Andre. <laughs> all right. And just like that, the giant has left us with a huge impression on this week's episode. Oh, yeah, huge. <laughs> so everybody go out there huge and check out Peanut impression. Butter Falcon. I, I I didn't know it was a yeah. wrestling movie. Not- I- I I didn't know that was the name of the movie. I knew there was a movie with like Mick Foley that had a cameo, of Jake the Snake, yeah. and that it was a wrestling Bowdy movie. Just saw it I like remember peanut the name of the damn movie. <laughs> peanut yeah, butt I fucking Falcon. It was peanut butter jelly. <laughs> peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter fucking time. <laughs> peanut butter fucking. <laughs> peanut butter fucking time. <laughs> peanut butter fucking time. Anybody got time. a dog and some peanut butter? It was on my radar for the last two months. <laughs> And I didn't know it was going to come to our small town. I thought I was going to have to go watch it in Chicago. And, did it? Where, uh, where did you see it? Hobart, right here. What? Yep. Did, right here in Hobart. It was at the art? Ooh. It's still playing next week. I'll go with you. The thing is. Was it at the you art theater? The no, no, not at art theater. The, the uh, whatever the. Okay, the I got you. Is. I got you. I almost showed my nipples. Mm. I was very close. Close call, guys. <laughs> show me your nips. Show me. I can't believe show I've, me been, your nips. I've been topless this whole episode. It's uh, <laughs> kind of. I want to uh, see it. Terrible. It's terrible. Uh, What a. It is a. It is a. It's a feel good movie. And it also reiterates we don't talk about movies, but let me make a prediction and we won't talk about it at all. That's a lie. We talk about it. Within the next 10 years, Shia LaBeouf will win an Oscar. That's all I'm saying. Boom. Done. Not because of this movie, but just I know he's going to do it. Because of the ninth Indiana Jones. That's why he'll win it because of that. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Indiana Jones in the yep. kingdom of Bought the, it. I can't think of Crystal that. Skull. No, I was trying to think. There is another one that's coming. What's it? No, it's not. Cool. <laughs> Bullshit. Yes. Brutus. <laughs> hey, Brutus. it's that time again. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Jesus, turn the mic. Ooh. All right, go ahead. Thank you. It's time for the Feature Wrestlers of the Week. <laughs> feature Wrestlers of the Week? Yeah. yeah! We didn't get to do this last week. No, we didn't. We didn't. That's okay. So, Bruiser Bodie's going to take this one over, and he's going to give you an old-timer and a next-gen, a.k.a. current guy, that you guys yep. should pay attention to and look up and Google and fucking find out all the information you can. Yes. And we're going to discuss each of these guys right quick for you. So, we should. If we like him or if we hate him. Yes. Go ahead. I like where this is going. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start off with the uh, with an old guy. Um, old a vet. Yes. Um, I, I, I have to go with Jushin Thunder Liger. Yeah. He's, man, he's been one of my favorites um, since I found out about him. I don't even know when that was. That was years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I saw his mask, I was like, who the hell is this dude? It reminded me of like... Uh, Ultraman or Super Inframan. I don't know if you ever yeah, seen those old, yeah, yeah. old school movies. Dude, Super Inframan. <laughs> those was set my the precedents for like those set the precedents, the precedents, or however you fucking say. I can't think this fucking. Yeah. It's a truly Armageddon. Wow. Uh, for <laughs> shows like Power Rangers and everything. I remember yeah, exactly. Spe- Ultraman and Specter Man were like the same, and I remember the yeah. Specter Man yeah. uh, game. Specter Man. That was the that yeah. was the theme song. Specter Man. <laughs> yeah, dude, his mask totally reminded me of that, dude, and, uh, yeah, and then, like, with the transformation to Kishin Liger, it's just kind of like how Matt Hardy reinvented himself, and, you know, Juice and Thunder Liger's doing that, keeping his character fresh, he's keeping 
you know, ahead of. Well, it's been a the, long uh, time since we've that. seen him. Yeah, it's been a very long time. So, um, what, what promotions yeah, did he wrestle for? Who? Jushin? Jushin. Oh, uh, man. WCW. Jushin, yeah, WCW, NJPW. I think, has uh, he, I think done he was all in Japan? Um, all Japan, too. Yeah, yeah he, did, he did all Japan. He did... Uh, Dude, he was in NXT. Uh, Triple H brought him in NXT yeah. like a couple years ago. Yeah. And um, he wrestled Tyler Breeze. Yeah, that was so fucking weird. Like, um, he was, God damn it. Why didn't they pick a better opponent? I know. Yeah, whatever. Right. No disrespect I think, uh, to I think Tyler Breeze. Pro wrestling but Noah for a little bit too. He may have been. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure he's yeah. ran all circles in Japan because he's he's a fucking oh, yeah. legend. He has cartoons that he are is. based on exactly him and his character out there. He's like in Japanese exactly. culture, he's a fucking god. You know. Hmm. Yes. Yes, he is. I. Everyone out there listening, if you are familiar with him, even if you aren't, um, yeah, check him out. Look up all his matches. Look up. Jushin Thunder Liger, New Japan. Look up Kishin Liger. Just look everything up about yeah. him. You can Read find him, on on... him. Do a report for him. It's not even for anything. Just write a yeah. fifteen-page hey. essay on him. You know what? We need. To, just that's what we knowledge. need to do, Bodie. And I'm glad and you do it. Two like, weeks. We're gonna start fucking asses. all you bastiches out there in the JP Woo. All right, Bastard. listen here. You're gonna fucking have to start doing some homework and yeah. doing reports and yeah. sending them in yeah. for us. Yes, that's what we need to fucking. Yeah. No one else is doing that. Yeah, no. we do. We're gonna give yeah, you guys homework. The alternative. Come on, yeah, the alternative. And, like you and, guys and need and to get think... down. Get yeah, the nitty gritty. The one, and then I'll be uh, I'll be on the show. Yeah, yeah. That's you right. smart marks think you know shit? Do yeah. a fucking report. Yeah, prove Find yourself. <laughs> Pro- fucking prove yourself. Your penises. Yeah, yeah. Now you're talking. Mm-hmm. Let them know. But yeah, you can find Jushin Thunder Liger shit. I mean, the most obvious thing Everywhere. is to you know go in the YouTube wormhole and do that shit. But you can find his matches on WWE Network, uh, obviously, and yep. JPW World. Mm-hmm. Um, everywhere, everywhere you find. Uh, he's done yeah, a lot of shit everywhere. with uh, ROH, so you can get on there and get on the Honor Club and shit too. Yeah. So. Yeah, he said some of the best matches ever, man. He's just an absolute. Did he open legend. up? Uh, he was on the first Monday Nitro against uh, Brian Pillman. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. And uh, he, I totally forgot so about weird. that until you just brought it up. Yeah, it came full circle because I believe our boy Brian Pillman Jr. What's up, Brian? Uh, he just wrestled Jushin Thunder Liger. So how fucking weird is that, you know? I it's wish crazy, that dude. that would have been able to have been done on AEW on TNT. <laughs> that would have been oh, for like... Sure. All of us fucking wrestling dorks would have marked out hardcore. Like, okay, so 20-something years later, a different company, but, you know, same, the same uh, cable station and essentially the same vibe, a company that's coming to actually do something, do some damage. Um, man, dude, Jushin Liger versus Brian Pillman Jr. Yep. would have been, would have been toy, oh, toy, go- Psst. money. Psst. He's and, no, and not too all late. folks out there. Jewish and Thunder Liger, uh, he, I believe he holds the record for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship reigns. And I think he holds the longest title reign, too. You could be correct. Like, I want to say it's like 640 days or something like that. Damn, dropping legit numbers. Bodie's yeah, fucking dropping awful. legit numbers. Dude, <laughs> I'm all about Jewish and Liger, dude. I love that, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Two-time winner of the Super K Cup, too. Come on. Yeah. Come on. He's uh yeah I uh the craft beer that we will eventually produce is actually gonna be blessed after his name so See. truly here's See. to you true Armageddon so, yeah that's my uh, that's my vet that's my old old guy quote unquote all right now let's get all let's right. get a little uh, newer let's get a facelift on this newer movie. blood new blood Tessa Blanchard man, ooh oh man. There's so many honorable mentions I have. I didn't know who to go with, but well, that's all right because we got many, me. many, many a weeks to do this shit. So exactly. save your Still, load. Don't like, hey, save them for later, dude. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that Beavis and Butthead where they're looking at the fucking ink blots? It's like, what do you see? It's like, whoa. Save them for later. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Save them for later, dude. <laughs> 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 uh, so, so anyways yeah you're new guy uh, um yeah like i said i there's so many you could go with here but um 
I'm going to call out Gringo Loco because he had a match this weekend too. Um, okay. I don't know if you saw the highlights of that match where he, he was on the bottom of the Lucha Totem and the dude did that springboard reverse Hurricane Rana. Oh, I did see that. I actually just seen that of- a few hours ago. Like I saw that today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like he's, he was in that match. And then the match from uh two cup stuff too. He was in that match. And yeah. Um, just the dude's an absolute animal, man. Dude's a beast. Like, yeah, uh, I picked him. Too. Yeah, Chicago boy, and I picked him because I don't think a lot of people might be aware of him. They might have heard of him, but not have really seen anything. You guys need to go see some of his matches because the guy is, an, is a luchador. He's an American luchador, the base god, Gringo Loco. He's been everywhere too, man. He's been, you know, he started his journey in Mexico. And learn the lucha way. Who's an MLW too? Yeah, he's an MLW. Well, he's he, uh, a bad guy, and I don't like him. So, oh, oh get the get player. the fuck out! Hey, speaking of MLW yeah. too, um, I I gotta give a, you know, go back to the earlier news segment. The fucking news. Hey, it, the news. See, that's me getting to it real quick. Um, shout out to our boy from Violence Is Forever. Uh. Ke- uh, I almost said he's a tag partner of Kevin Koo. Uh, Dominic Garini just signed a contract with MLW, so he will be appearing. Ex- nice. I don't know. I wouldn't say exclusively, but he is. Exclusively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be with them. And much like we're going to be with MLW in November when they come for the super fight. They, you saw that, Bodie, right? They announced the main event. Yep. For the title. Yeah, dude. Go ahead. Go ahead. Unleash. <laughs> On the uh, super fight title match. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take oh. over. <laughs> you took too long, oh. kid. Huh? L.A. Park versus the current reigning, Hello? defending, undisputed heavyweight champion. <laughs> who? <laughs> who is it? I don't know. Do you know who it is, Bodie? I don't think Bodie can hear us. <laughs> I think you may be done. <laughs> Might be having a technical oh, difficulty. Yeah. Hello. Are you there? Oh, there we go. Holy piss. Oh. Sorry. I don't know what happened there, man. I couldn't hear you guys. Me we neither. The whole time. You, you, you just, we got to restart everything. Just start yep, this yep. whole fucking thing over. God damn it. It's a truly Armageddon. Yeah. In Armageddon, everything is fucked up. The world is spun okay. on its axis in reverse. Well, it, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be Armageddon without some technical difficulties on my end. Yeah. Here's the thing. So, yeah. This show is bullshit. I just oh. wanted to say it. Whoever oh, controls oh, the cameras and the audio is also horseshit. I gotta go. <laughs> All right. Andre, come I gotta back. go. Let, letting us know. Right. Yeah, no, no, we got uh, <laughs> Jacob Fatu versus yeah, you're L.A. Talking. Park. Yeah. Yeah, because L.A. Park won that uh, Battle Riot, right? Yeah. <laughs> To earn that shot, I believe so. That's key. And we were talking uh, off air about um, the Von Erichs returning to the hallowed grounds of the Sportatorium. I thought that was really cool, man. That was uh, super cool. It, man, dude. There's a lot of there is a lot of fucking wrestling history in Texas with WCCW, and you know, there's a, you know Booker T's reality of wrestling, which is going nowadays, but. Going back to like, man, dude, WCW, WCCW, I'm sorry, world class uh, championship wrestling back in the days with the Von Erics. That's some shit you'll never duplicate because those motherfuckers no. were rock stars, dude. You know, the Von Erics versus the Freebirds, all that shit. Like, that was so great, man. So to see that yeah. MLW do that and pay and even pay tribute to guys like Gary Hart, who is a legend. Um, if you guys go back in the JP Dub archives and listen to our uh, episode called Waste Management, it was about managers. Gary Hart was one of the guys listed as uh, one of our top favorite managers of all time. Um, shit like that, it really gets me, dude. Like, as a wrestling fan, like, you see stuff like that, and it's cool, and it's presented in, like, just an awesome way, you know? Like, who is it? Yes. Is, is it Kevin? Kevin Von Erich, the, the one that's alive now? It's the son of... Uh, yes. Or the father of uh, the two boys. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Marshall and Ross. Um, it was cool yep. because he got out there 
and you know he's taking his shoes off, and then he's telling the story of that. Like it was so well executed. Like shout out to MLW yeah. for that, man. Yeah, like yeah. it was awesome. That was great, man. Like that's yeah. I get the fucking feels right now. You know, like I want to be there. Like that's exactly. so fucking good, man. He's and he's putting his feet and he's telling the story of how his you know his dad told him and about like like sweating or just this experience in general of like you know with the boots and the socks on and just the sweat and everything is like it was just more natural when i took them off i never put them back on you know and i i don't know which one of them because i don't know them by their names like thinking of their faces and everything now but one of kevin's boys goes uh does the same thing you know wrestles without fucking boots and socks yeah um yeah i don't know which one that is i and, can't i and, don't remember sir. And then they take the, you know, the little piece of stone or whatever as a uh, symbol of remembrance or whatever from where that was at. And it was just it was so cool. And it's so sad that, like, I mean, honestly, that that building isn't there anymore because there's nothing. It's just a fucking open field. field. Yeah. Like that to me, shame on the state of Texas for that. Because that that was a fucking that's that was a historical place. And I think I, I. did years ago hear that you know that sportatorium was no longer or they were tearing it down I, maybe it wasn't that long ago i can't i can't remember so you know don't sit there and judge me but that that was one of those things like how do you let that place go man like try to refurbish it do something like i know it's wrestling it's whatever but dude texas and wrestling go hand in hand I mean that exactly. That shit was it's gonna awesome. be proof of the Renaissance when they rebuild something similar. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, dude. Like so, yeah. Shout out to MLW and everybody there. That was fucking. Yeah. Hey, well done. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, guess what? <laughs> it's time for the topic of the week. <laughs> Yes, Fretton doesn't like the yelling because it hurts his little pussy oh, ears. Loud. Aww. Aww. Sorry, <laughs> Bodie's like, fuck you, guy. <laughs> yeah, man, fuck that. Yeah, but I do like the topic, you know. It, this is a good one. Top five best wrestling chants. Oh, I love it. Yes. Oh, lead it off, Bodie. Go. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> Number five, uh, for me, I always love insert wrestler's name is gonna kill you. Yeah, that chant yeah. is so awesome. Like, Joe, Joe is, gonna is gonna kill, kill you. you. Threatens yeah. gonna kill the both of you. Threatens, come on, everybody. More like Threatens gonna kill himself. <laughs> Andre is come gonna on, kill. Sorry, back. Yeah, Andre is gonna oh. kill you because <laughs> you both are assholes. Yes. <laughs> I gotta fucking get out of here. This podcast is bullshit. Gotta go. <laughs> we get no fucking respect, motherfucker. I oh, wish man. I would have never fucked around on that goddamn Ouija board. He would have never have busted no. his big ass right? fucking ectoplasmic presence. You made your bed. Now you must uh, fucking sleep in it. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go. I thought he was going to fire at <laughs> me for a second. Thank God. Anyways, going on to the next right. chant. Uh, next chant I have is uh, a promotional chant. So like EC Dub, AE Dub, NXT, JP Dub, you know. Yep, JP Dub. Um, so it always a sign of respect when you chant that just because, you know, you're Given a uh, shout out to the promotion for having these sick ass matches and awesome talent and stuff. So, JP Dub, JP Dub, JP Dub, JP Dub, JP Dub, JP Dub. Oh man, yeah. crescendo! Oh, like I'm gonna show the nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Fire it up! 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 Oh God! <laughs> the nips are coming. Oh no! Wait, can we get the doctor in love real quick? I am the doctor of love. <laughs> and I, you don't gotta be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tears are falling. 
here. I can't maintain my composure <laughs> after that shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> all right. I'm going to throw one in on this list, all right? We're going to go for number three yeah. on this one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God damn. It took a lot out of my soul. Okay, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, this is one I feel that was more of really uh, this was a more modern chant. What the, this is awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is an awesome chance. Yeah, like whenever you guys are in your car listening, and it's like this is awesome. Bo, did you put us on the speakerphone? I did. Yeah, yeah, we're getting feedback. We hear everything twice. I hope so. <laughs> That's good because it'll, it'll it'll feel like a real chant, like it's this being repeated, but awesome, it's just echoing. Awesome, Wait a minute. Awesome. Oh, no, that's way better. Did you take it off? Yeah. Yeah, I took it off. I had to. I had to uh, do something for one of my boys real quick, oh, so I had to put it on speaker. Well, tell your boy you just ruined five seconds of your dad's show. Oh, that's fine. I just, I just German suplexed and bridged them for the one, two, three, four. Fuck the Ninos! Yeah. Oh, the Ninos! Oh, wait. Hey, going back to an early episode, I think it was like, what was it, 21? Uh, the Chicken and Blessings? It was like, fuck those kids! <laughs> fuck those kids! <laughs> Big Ed's favorite chant. <laughs> fuck them kids! Oh, that's right. great. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, this is awesome chance our money yeah i agree are. with you on that yeah, yeah, but yeah. it is it's They're a relatively fun. new chant well right, I would it say is. within the past not even 20 years maybe 10 15 i don't ever 10. i don't ever remember like even nitro at the highest points like no or, or attitude, attitude era yeah. or no one ever said that shit no I don't think so. A lot of the chants are relatively newer. Yeah. I want to say. Um, what a, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we went through the promotion thing, you know, the EC dub, uh, all that. Yep. This is awesome. One of my mm -hmm. favorite chants. So this would put us at what? Yeah. Four? Uh, yeah, this would put us at four. Okay. I love this because this came from all the smart marks in ecw ec dub fans which we we love you guys because we are you guys. <laughs> i know i know i know yeah, which one you're talking about yeah go ahead <laughs> i think you're talking about the you fucked, fucked up. up you, you fucked, fucked up. up you fucked, fucked up. up you fucked up <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah dude i love it i fucking love it that's great and i love it i i love watching the interviews when you get guys like rvd or sabu or anybody well sabu doesn't really do a lot of them but uh you can check them out right. on our episode um oh yeah they were talking like they knew back in the day at the 2300 arena aka the ecw arena that they fucked up when the crowd he's like you didn't want that you know he really like you're like oh god when, once he got that from these guys it's like you really did something fucking stanky yeah. danky you know and i yep, i love exactly. that yeah that's really cool and that's one of those chants that like i know ae dub's gonna be on tnt right i get that right but i you know i hope to god that's incorporated now they'll probably bleep it i do know? too but like it, you know they might i don't know I, I don't know. I, I think there I think here's the thing. It's gonna be it's gonna be different, but they're gonna be corporate, you know. I mean it's they, they, guess, they gotta they play let, within well, the they, rules. Yeah. They let a lot of cuss words go nowadays. So depending wow. on what it is, this they might let it go. Truly, I'm uh, actually smells just wondering. like threatens armpits. No the pits. Oh god, I feel like I'm licking his uh, armpits. It's not this so thing. bad. Try this one. Oh Ooh, get no. that on camera. <laughs> you want me to? No. no, you're uh, talking. Oh, oh, okay. No, next. Give it, give it all yeah. yeah, yeah. But the you back to the you fucked up chance. Yep, let's go. Um, yeah, I just I, I think it's a thing that needs to be more involved. You know, like I uh, I think Lucha Underground could have been one of the ones to get away with it if they were still around. Yeah. Yep, I agree with that. Threatened just really well, um, tastes like his arm. They kind of actually. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, watching some Lucha Underground episodes where they kind of uh, bleeped out "Holy shit, chance." Yeah, I mean, it, it, <clears throat> with uh, network syndication or cable networks in general, whether you're in syndication yeah. or not, it's yeah, it's one of those fucking things. Here's the thing, man. Like if you're on right. late enough at night, 
I hate censorship. Yeah, who cares? I really do. You know? Yeah, me too. It's fucking repulsive. I'll say it a million times. It is. Mother, mother, fuck. Mother, mother, fuck, fuck. Noise, 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 noise. noise. <laughs> it's noise, noise. <laughs> Smoking weed, drinking beer, doing coke. Oh, well, who drinks the Trulies? We drink the Trulies. But not the grapefruit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't sm- Well, this one smells like patchouli. Yeah, this straight up smells like your armpits, dude. Yeah. Like, this is, check That's it out. Good- oh, man. Yeah. It smells like a fucking... Oh, it smelled like the locker room at the ARW show. I went to our uh, <laughs> <laughs> or the Acme show. I went to. I was like, it was it, everybody was awesome. I'm not not getting anybody in there, but when you get in the locker room backstage, dude, after you know, like a dozen dudes just did their thing in the ring, it doesn't smell too good. It, it, uh, no, it doesn't smell too good, I guess, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't smell good at all. Oh, you know, stop hey, ringing you know, that bell. I can't concentrate, hey. you know? <clears throat> Since you brought that up, I just watched Last Blood. I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's awesome. I heard it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's like when you oh. hit Shao Kahn and Morgan, you, you hit him. Oh. 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 Don't you dare oh. be sour. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, Stratton, <laughs> real quick. Since we're doing the video game shit, give me the kung fu. Give me the kung fu again. Ah, dude, I'm losing it. That's perfect, spot on. Oh my god, dude, that's perfect. I love well, that this, game. This grapefruit truly, that's, you are it's 100% accurate. It yeah. smells like an armpit, it, dude, like a smelly armpit. This is a, <laughs> I can smell it through the phone. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bodie. This is fucking bad, dude. You, like, oh, that's, that's awesome, man. Uh, you should no. bottle it and sell it. No. Somebody uh, already did. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, Too late. You. All right, what's the number one chant? What's the number one chant you think? Oh, okay. Um, I think this is just my personal opinion, but the holy shit chant. Yeah. I love I, that's it. That's just me. That's just me. And it I goes, the here's the thing. Chant, holy dude. shit chant goes with everything. You can be like yeah. the most epic, um, crazy fucking, well, I'll be a deathmatch spot or something super insane. Crazy holy Lucia shit. spot. Yeah, yeah. It goes with anything. Uh, you do, it also goes Orange with Cassidy. Orange Cassidy. Yes, Orange Cassidy. <laughs> I love it. Like him and Gangrel exchanging shit. You know, a black label GCW. Yeah. Too good stuff. So the, the lazy kicks, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, holy, holy shit. shit. <laughs> holy it's shit. The best. Yeah. Or like when the, the Dick Drudes came out, you know. <laughs> Dick Drudes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At all in. Yep. Oh, holy shit. I, I love yeah, holy um, shit chant. That that chant too, too is one that makes its way around. It gets censored here and there, but it's one that right. kind of slips through the cracks. Humor. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bodie, uh, humor uh, me. WWE starting not to. Why, 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 why? Humor me with, uh, you saw the list that I created earlier. I just need you to do yeah. this because I need to see Wallace's uh, reaction. Um, what was that one? It's the first couple song, first couple words of the song. Do you, oh, you know man. what I'm trying to say? Uh, yeah, That's yeah. my number one uh, chant. Like Your number one chant? Uh, man, uh, hold on, hold on. Gosh. Break the wall down! Break down the balls! Oh, man. How come I can't think of the lyrics right now, man? Right. It'll come to me. We'll do it another time. No, don't fucking do that. You're trying. I know he's trying to trigger with that. It's not even put a it chant. in his head. It's not even a chant. He got off topic on his own fucking, on his own little, what would you call that, section. I wrote. I wrote my own list. Ah. And I put number five was made me really happy. It's not a chant. I it's just the beginning of Chris Jericho's. I just wanted Fozzie's to trigger juice. Fucking, yeah. I, it was like I am becoming, I'm becoming, I'm becoming, or whatever the yeah, fuck I'm it become, is. I'm becoming, I'm becoming, I'm oh, becoming. It makes me sick. I'm I'm beca- here's the thing. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris. I I I, I like your show. I like. I'm Chris becoming. Oh. <laughs> True this in, true this in my mind. Oh God. You know what's funny? Oh, right, Just, we gotta end this episode. Juice knows all of the words. 
Don't be fooled. No, I don't. He Fuck, does. no, I, I don't. He la, 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 no, I don't. It. No, no, no. I don't listen to no stuff. So holy mojo. shit is number right. one. That's all. Well, I'm saying change the lyrics around. Yeah, right. A little touch, little touch, little touch of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> a little touch of the boat. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, a little touch of the boat. Okay. <laughs> Allow me to do the disclaimer that these, are... <laughs> <laughs> these lists that we do, yeah. they are living, breathing lists. Mm -hmm. So these, we, we can actually, it's we like are if allowed... you guys are out there playing Mortal Kombat, how they have the living towers. Yep. It's the same shit. They always change. I mean, we could do this every week if we'd like, if we want to. Yeah, we're going to do it every week. I don't care so, if they like it or not. Because... So this might change. And it will change. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. Because one of these days, Juice is going to come in here in a Chris Jericho costume singing that song that he loves so much. And he's going to be like, we need to chant yep. this shit. Yep. Next. Yep. Oh, he's gonna so you, could keep, you could keep going on and on with uh, different chants, man. There's so many good ones. He's quitting the show. He's, he threw down the headphones. Well, he's quitting yep. the show. Hold I heard on. that. I heard that. Oh, I, I just heard him leave. Moment. Get back on the mic. Open. I took my shirt off. I bet she's pooping. Yeah, he, no, I'm he, a cub. I'm a cub. I'm a... Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm no. sorry. Yeah, Here's the thing. I like bit. Chris Jericho as a wrestler. I like him as an entertainer. I cannot get behind that fucking band <laughs> to save my fucking life. I can't, I can't do it. It's a joke, dude. It's it's fucking it's it's corporate fucking rock. It's Johnny Rock. I can't do it. it. Is. And here's the thing. Anybody that wants to hate on oh he's this all coming from the guy that just fucking screams and yells, you can't understand what he says. That's great. You can feel that way. You're entitled to that. I don't fucking care. But here's the thing, that music makes me sick to my stomach. Much like you guys may think, oh, well, fuck Handsome Prick or, you know, Cannibal Corpse or any that? of that shit, you know? Yep. Yeah. Anybody out there is like, just because they go, I'm sorry. I could do that and make it more impactful than Sounds fucking, cool. I become, I become, I become. Me too. Yep. Yeah. Like, I, uh, check this out. What this have is I awesome. Become? What have I betrayed? Everyone I've always loved, I pushed them all away. You see him? Yeah, we see Bodie. him. So Holy I can't just, see him. Like I just caught a spider. He caught a spider. It's a it's little baby. Camera. It's oh. a niño. It's a niño spider. It's yeah. a, it looks like I like the. I would name him Arachnaman. He's he's. You got Ojo de la Tigre. Yeah, he's yeah. He's streaming down and he's on the camera right now. This is great shit nice. right here. So I'm gonna let him down That's and let him do his shit. thing. He's he's just the a greatest let him, bit let him do we've ever done. The greatest bit. I say. Are you sure it's not Arachnaman? Yeah, no, it is Arachna Man. That's his name now. Nah, he's he's, he's getting his late push. <laughs> he's the seed of Arachna Man. Um, hey. Real quick, go ahead. Oh, no, I was. Uh, my boys are over here. Like, Corbin's trying to get Grayson to a pile driver. Oh, don't. And Grayson's hey. saying, Seattle Miato, and no. I was trying to stun him. Oh. My God, he killed him. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hey. Terry McCall, why don't you do it? All right. Right, sorry. <laughs> boys, why are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing it, boys? They're trying to why, watch why, why are you doing this? Record a boys, podcast. Yeah, 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 boys, why, why are you doing this? <laughs> you boys are too rowdy. <laughs> Boomer Center, my Son, God, what? pinata, 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 <laughs> barbecue, barbecue steak. He got a bicycle. <laughs> bicycle, bicycle, <laughs> wanna ride my barbecue? <laughs> 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 oh, too good, dude. It's just singing. It's that oh, truly man. Armageddon. It's this armpit juice I'm drinking oh, right now. Yep. Truly armpit juice. Hey, so real quick, I want to throw it, and, and we're going to get uh, to your shit at Full Terror Assault in a second, Bodie. But uh, oh, I want to cool. throw a yeah. quick yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to uh, Wendy and everybody at the Live Wire Lounge in Chicago. Handsome Prick had a great time. Um, Oh yeah! This past what was it? Saturday, yep. nine twenty one nineteen. Yep. Remember that yep. date. You guys can check it out. Um, we've posted videos on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that shit. Twitter. It was it was a great fucking time. We showed up. We had a good time for Wendy's birthday. There was a motherfucker. It was her birthday. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I met Wendy. She's incredibly sweet. Yeah, organized she, the whole thing. She's yeah, awesome. she organized yeah. the whole thing and she fucking sold our merch for us. Like that was great. Yeah, like Wendy's, usually, Wendy's awesome. Yeah, who usually does it? Like uh, us, and well, actually, uh, me 
Because <laughs> no one else wants to do that shit. They just want to go have a good time right. or whatever. But it's like you guys aren't yeah. mingling anyways. Let, <laughs> you know, um, it, it it was fucking awesome. You had the bird guy showed up, the juicy beware, the cocoa beware guy. He showed up with a macaw and fucking. Sorry, you didn't <laughs> like it. Cocoa beware. Ah, he called them cocoa beware. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are filthy animals and yeah, I don't they shit everywhere. But them. I didn't notice it. He was trying to get everybody. You know, there were other bands that participated that, you know, let the bird get up there and go bah! or whatever the fuck it did. There was a guy with two parrots at the show. I thought it was cool because yeah. I'd never seen that, so I was like, "What the fuck?" But I didn't think it was cool when, you know, I'm up there playing and he was like trying to get his bird the attention instead of us. So I'm like, "Hey, yeah, trying to get his I, bird wet." Yeah, yeah. And I didn't let it get wet because you know I'm the juice and I always stay wet, so I ignored it. Um, when you ignored it, I was yeah. I clapped. But the guy was a nice hard. guy, so no hard feelings. I, I like that. I, I get it. Like it's cool. It's cool shtick. I thought it was unique. Yep. Um, yeah. You I, do you. You. Yeah. Yeah. Weirdo. I thought I thought it was fun. Uh, what Wait. more can I say about it? We fucking destroyed it. We did like a forty minute sweat. Yeah, you guys did. <laughs> you like that? I meant to say that too. Did you? Uh, forty minute sweat. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, sweat. dude. It. I could not fucking breathe after awesome. a while. It was up awesome. There. Uh, you guys yeah. killed it. It was great. I appreciate that. So uh, everybody, yeah, go check that awesome, shit out. Man. It's on YouTube. Uh, yeah, shout out to our boy Darren Stone. Stop. We gotta get Stone in on an episode sometime. He's always getting all his love and shit, but he, no one ever sees him. You know, Darren Elvis Stone. Why would we have him on here? He's like a hundred like times myth. better looking than us, and he's very charming. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, charming. I won't allow it. I don't know. I, I take offense nope. to the better. Oh, right. thing. But uh, anyway, he is an equally handsome man, Darren Stone. Thank you, thank you for all you do. Yeah, I you're a handsome prick. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, but yeah. he's too good looking for the show. Yeah, but it, it it was a good time, and uh, sad to say, but glad to say. Um, it's going to be our last live show for a little bit. We got a, you know, a third record we're going to pump out for you guys and yep. uh, a seven inch Don't covers fucking album. So, Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you guys want to know what covers are Ooh, on there? Yeah. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> right hopefully now. come from the Jackson five. <laughs> you, you never know. Hopefully, we're we're that, close enough. Hopefully some ABBA. Yeah, we're, we're close enough. Maybe we'll give them a come tribute. I mean, pay tribute. Uh-huh. Maybe, maybe some balls and scrubs. I mean, hauling out. Did you say balls? <laughs> balls. I said balls, balls and scrubs. Oh, yeah. no, but he's talking about balls again. Oh, look at my balls. But, uh, I gotta get talk about balls. <laughs> so not only that, Bodie, you guys were at Full Terror Assault. Yep, yep, the yep. Fifth anniversary of that motherfucker. Yeah, man, and the fifth anniversary was, uh, dude, it was so awesome, man. So many great bands, dude. Violence was there, like their only Midwest show. Grave, Grave yeah, played. Old school. Mod was there. Billy Milano. Uh, Soulfly. Yeah, Milano, dude. Nah. Dilo to the motor. Yep. Did they do my boys? Uh, what's that? Did they do your drive for drive? Yes. Yes, oh. they did. <laughs> He's just like yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, all right. Yeah, dude. They were killing it. Um, shout out to our boys and minimum wage assassins. Yeah. Ben and uh, Derek, uh, yeah. they played and they killed it, dude. They were awesome as usual. Mm-hmm. Um, Hammerhead was there. If you don't know uh, Hammerhead, um, those are those kids, those like teenagers. Yeah. They uh, did like some Metallica covers on the streets and like got pretty popular. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they uh, there's videos, they played there's viral videos of them kids playing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, they played full tear. They did a sick got, cover of Territory by Sepultura. <laughs> territory? Uh, <I> huh. <laughs> yeah, awesome. they did Territory by Sepultura. Nice. Poor's got a... I, yeah. No, wait. They're not doing Territory. They're doing something else. Never mind. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, we played Waco played. Um, yeah. Dude, we had a killer crowd, man. There was so you many people that turned out, dude. Crowd, that, man. Thank you. Yeah, well, because, uh, you know, we get the crowd drunk. We get them hammered. We got, yeah. dude, we had, like, uh, we, we had three people. Them. Yeah, I know. That's even better. No, it's not, because so they had, don't uh, show up. <laughs> <laughs> they don't show up. Five people. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for the prick. Are you sure you want that? Yeah. Yes, touch me, please. <laughs> I want to be touched. <laughs> 
but yeah, dude, uh, we had like three people handing out beers in uh, uh, the boob tube. So we got the uh, beer bong with the big uh, titty on the end of it. People sucking on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have the SA party pistols, the super soakers. We fill them with beer and shoot them at people's mouths. <laughs> we just throw out yeah. beer. And then yeah. at the end of our set, I do the uh, signature stone cold, dude. I get tossed two beers and I stone cold them and then uh, dump them on people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's, 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 it's oh, yeah. It's the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just did that I with two trulies that were. Tom can do a good stone cold. You say Oh, Compton? dude, it'd have been better if you just. Compton? Did you Compton? <laughs> Whisk, Whisk Compton? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, Compton have you heard our yeah. intro? We got a sexual atrocities. We have an intro that rips off easy. It says Wisconsin. So it's like Wisconsin, Wisconsin. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's like, doof. And then the whisper is sexual atrocities. <laughs> we, we have that intro. We play it live before we play it. I like that. It's, it's fucking great, man. Yeah, it's great, <laughs> dude. Our guitar player, Eric, uh, did all that up, dude. It's so genius. It's awesome, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, shout out to uh, Shano from uh, Waco Jesus for putting on the full tear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys love music, anybody out there love music, love every type of genre, um, you're not going to see any country, you're not going to see any pop, none of that bullshit. But yeah. if you like metal, you like, uh, you know, death metal, you like they black metal, a little, a little bit of recently. everything out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything this year. It's really cool. Um, just, you know, a little bit of something for everyone. But, dude, it's uh, BYOB. It's open air. Yeah. There's nothing out there. You're just in the middle of nowhere. Everyone's cool as hell. You're drinking with people that you haven't met yet. Everyone's fucking awesome. All yeah. Everyone in the bands are walking around, hanging out, drinking beers. It's great, dude. It's the best time lots ever. Lots of and, drugs, lots of fun, yeah. lots of friends. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, you guys heard. No I got a tick on my balls there <laughs> last year, and while I tripped on it. Oh, did you? Somebody, somebody uh, posted in the full tear page. They had a tick on their balls and got yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, that's why, like, right. motherfuckers. If you ain't yeah. out there listening, I tried to warn you. I heard so a story shame on you. that the juice from Juice Pro Wrestling podcast and handsome prick got a tick <laughs> on his balls, and I didn't believe it. But then this year, I went to the. Full tear of salt, and I got a tick on my balls, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Brian. Yeah, those, those bricks talk about those ticks on those bricks, and that brick got a tick on his brick. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and thanks to yeah, our uh, fan, Brian uh, Greenberg, here for <laughs> shouting out that he got a, a tick on his balls. <laughs> yeah, a tick on his balls. Dude, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of handsome prick love out there, man. A lot there? of shirts, a uh, couple stickers, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, there was... Probably, yeah, there's probably, I've seen like about eight or ten people wearing prick shirt or had no a prick shit. sticker somewhere. That's yeah, awesome. I'm not shitting you, dude. It, it, yeah, was, it was awesome. I've seen like, some people, yeah. too. I was like, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. That's what yeah, it was cool, about. man. I loved it. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, yeah. So, yeah, full tear is a great time, man. It's just great to go out there and hang loose and not care about a damn thing. There's yeah. no signal out there, so there's not a bunch of pricks on their phones. Yeah, so that's awesome. even better. You, you it's just people of, enjoying you, stuff. Yeah. So, and you next year, like yeah. you get, I was about we should to probably next year. Yeah, yeah, we should probably all do it, yeah. whether I'm booked or not. You know, we gotta have a presence, right? Exactly, it's fun. Well, we start a new band. I'm the lead singer. <laughs> Wallace can play. Uh, uh, I'll play the skin flute. Skin Fuck flute. It. Fucking suck it. It's just a way of life. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, there you go. I'll play the flesh trombone. <laughs> yeah, rusty trombone solo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It'll be the worst. Hey, this next one's called Filthy Melendez. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. Understand? You sick fuck. Uh, you say it, see? Next. <laughs> there is no next because we about to get the fuck out of here. I'd like to thank everybody yeah. for listening this week and every week. You guys can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, actually, check this out. So I can cut this fucking spiel down every week. We have a link tree. So if you want to go to that, just type in L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E backslash Juice Pro Wrestling. That's all you got to do. And it'll take you to everything. And it'll even get you to some handsome prick merch if you uh, want to do that, too. That was a week. I got to clean up so much throw up in here. Uh, was, oh, God, man. That, nah, just leave it for the next guy. Dude, yeah. the burps from this fucking True barbecued barbecue. armpit seltzer fucking. You smell like sausage? Oh, dude, I wish I smelled sausage instead of this. Put a big I sticky jacket like in front of my face. 
I bet it smells like a big kielbasa, doesn't it? Eh? <laughs> it certainly does. Uh, you got uh, you got that cheese platter over there, too, eh? Uh, it smells like brie. It smells a little bit like from under. God, you from, from under my nets. Ooh, from under my nuts. Uh, but, yeah, you guys like what you hear. <laughs> Tune in fucking every week. We're on YouTube. You can get a direct link uh, via jpdub.com for the moment. Uh, we actually just released the second trailer for the podcast be sure you check that out it's a lot of fun i had a lot of fun making it it took me a couple hours to make so if you just fucking hit the thumb all you gotta do is tap one thumb it doesn't cost you anything just fucking do tap, it tap tap yeah tap 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 just tap 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 yeah tap a roo <laughs> just tap uh, same thing if you guys are out there listening on spotify uh stitcher itunes any of that shit leave leave us a fucking review Rate us yeah. if you like us, even if you don't like us. Like, I, in some ways, I kind of want the shitty reviews more than I want the good ones. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he may say he doesn't, but you know, I don't. Whatever. All it just good. sometimes it, the funniest. It, it, it fuels my desire to do a better job. There you go for you guys. And that burp. There you go. Head. The yeah. Room. Don't you pricks? Don't forget to go to that YouTube page too. Get a like and subscribe, huh? Yeah. 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 You know, you gotta hit that YouTube up. Yeah. You gotta fucking, yeah. you gotta yeah. do all that. You gotta shit. hit the subscribe button. We all cannot, do. we cannot achieve global domination without your help. That's right. And hey, see, here's another see. thing. I wanted. I was thinking about this today. So next week is my birthday, right? Next Friday. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Birthday. It's not my birthday yet, you dick. <laughs> That's fine. I'll forget. I'm, I'm gonna say it now. I know you will. Me too, Bodie. Let's just forget yeah. about it. Let's forget. <laughs> I'll forget. Too. What were you saying? <laughs> Um, well, my thing is, you know, everybody out there on Facebook is wanting to fucking do like these fundraisers and shit, which is, you know, Hey, I get that. That's cool. It's a good cause, but let me throw another good cause out yeah. there for all you guys listening. You can pay palace. I don't care if it's a dollar, if it's 50 cents, anything you want to do, send to the juice Willis at hotmail.com. That's the PayPal. Send us anything you got so we can continue to provide you with quality content and do better content than we already have, which is fucking amazing. So it's going to be hard to outdo it, but it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so we can wave those dollar bills in front of all those wrestlers' right. faces that so you we can afford shirts. Shit from. Yeah. And get merch. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't have money for shirts. Yeah. 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 We can afford That's one dancing shirt. You know, all of this episode led up to this. He is shirtless because we don't have money for merch. This fucking sucks, man. Yeah. You, all you guys no. got to do is help us out. I'm if you cold. Like the show. Winter's coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, winter's over. Um, <laughs> Winter 2019 is coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're talking about I'm game fucking mode. freezing. <laughs> Nobody wants to see my nipples. No, no, they don't want to see that. Nah, I do. I kind of do. Oh, well. Only one person yeah, wants one to person. see these nipples. Hopefully, there's more than one person no. that wants to donate. Like yeah. I said, I, I let me see them suckers. <laughs> right, everybody out there listening, I appreciate it. Like I said, go send whatever you got, whatever you want to donate. I'm not putting a fucking. There's no glass ceiling on it. it you know, if you want to give me fucking fifty cents or a quarter, great. I could do my fucking laundry with it. No, or a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, or three hundred dollars. The the goal is to give you guys better content. That's right. You know, to get merchandise for you guys. We have a lot of stuff in the works. It it's gonna take your guys' help to do it. So we greatly fucking appreciate that. So if you guys can help us out, you know, for if if you like the juice for his birthday, maybe just a little bit, and you know, I might feel like. I might feel like a special boy. Hmm. <laughs> this is a good time to end the show. <laughs> oh. My tear ducts are so wet. <laughs> it shows my asshole uh, no. and my penis. I'm Ooh. squeezing it because I have to piss so bad. Hey, hey, motherfuckers. I'd appreciate it, though. You guys are the best. Anybody that listens to this show is the best because you know how to have a good time. You know how to fucking utilize your party mentality and still get your information and do it in a different way than all these other fucking bozos. The so, alternative. Hey, you know, at the end of the day, all I got to say to you is, wet em up. 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 I, I, think, I, 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 I think we're wet.
You gonna so do what? sex to me? 